Hello YouTube, uh, it's me again, Javier. Um, first off, I want to start off by uh, apologizing for my first videos. They were my first videos I've ever broadcast, that I ever shot, and it was pretty nerve-wracking. Um, I watched them and they were terrible. So, I want to apologize for that. I, uh, I promise I'll do better from now on. I don't want to... <laughs> that was bad. Um, my intentions were good, but the video wasn't. So, uh, it was a little, little nerve-wracking, you know, putting my stuff out there. Uh, getting, you know, uh, becoming vulnerable. Uh, so to speak, by sharing my personal experiences, but in the end, I know it's for the best. Uh, it's for you know for good, and hopefully, I can help somebody go uh, go through uh, this anxiety, uh, depression, panic attacks uh, the way that I wanted help, the way that I needed help with. That's the intentions of these videos. Share my experiences, my testimonies, my coping methods, and to reassure everybody out there, because if you're anything like me, you're searching high and low for answers. How do I get rid of anxiety? How do I deal with it? How do I, you know, when does it go away? Uh, what prescriptions do I take? Is this good for me? Is that good for me? Uh, you know, you're searching high and low. Uh, because I searched high and low. Um, so, hopefully, sharing my experiences, my coping methods, uh, my way to recovery, hopefully that helps somebody else out there. Because uh, it was a rough, it was a rough ride. It was a rough ride. And I do not wish it on anybody else. Uh, I like to go through different anxiety Facebook pages, different forums, um, and pretty much, you know, the general consensus uh, from everybody dealing with anxiety and depression is, is this normal to feel this way? Uh, when, do, what, what, what can make it go away? How do I make it go away? Uh, you know, the, the, just the, the answer, the questions of, uh, what and why pretty much so this video I want to kind of explain what anxiety is what panic attack is from what I believe now a little disclaimer again uh, I'm no therapist I'm no doctor I'm a college dropout a nine-to-five job um, but I do know what I've gone through. I do know what has helped me. And hopefully I could reach out to somebody, connect with somebody um, the way that Paul David, uh, who's an author of a book called At Last the Life, the way he connected with me. Uh, until I was, until I could really connect with someone and hear their experiences and their their uh, coping methods and whatnot, did I really understand anxiety and what I was dealing with to combat it. So that's just kind of me paying it forward, hoping I can connect with somebody, hoping I can help somebody uh, make that connection and help them cope with what's going on with them. So with that being said, uh, don't judge me for driving and shooting. I have a two-hour drive to work. Um, it's the only quiet time I have. I promise you, for the most part, I'm going to keep my eyes on the road. Um, so, anyways. Um, I want to start off with a little bit of background. My experience. My story. How bad... I got hit with anxiety and panic attacks. So, 
Uh, just real quick story. Um, got a drop promotion two hours away from home. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty promising for advancements and whatnot. Uh, so was planning on moving my family up there. Yada, yada, yada. First week I went up there. Um, actually, take it back to when I accepted the job um, that night. I had a complete breakdown. Um, I was up till three o'clock in the morning, just crying, bawling my tears out, scared. I was terrified. Uh, I was leaving my kids. I was leaving my wife, blah, blah, blah. I was two hours away, two hours away. It's not that big of a deal, but to me, it was a huge deal. I just accepted this job. That's going to put me two hours away from my family for, you know, a while until I could get everybody moved up there. And it tore me apart. I stayed all, crying all night, I was sweating, I was scared, I was terrified. Uh, I felt like I was letting my family down because I wanted to pull out, I wanted to pull away from the job, I didn't want to do it no more. Um, so that's where it all began with me. So uh, my wife ended up waking up in the morning, talking to me, you know what, everything's okay, you know, we're gonna be fine, everyone's fine. You know, go through with this. This is a good opportunity, blah, blah, blah. Talk me back into it. Okay, fine. You know, let's do it. You know, I have another month before I'm due up two hours away to my new job. Um, so when I went up to that new job, they paid for us for a hotel. So I rented a hotel for three days away. So now I'm going to be away for three days, which was terrible. It was the worst for me. Um, I barely could keep it together long enough to get through work. And once I was done with work, I completely just broke down, complete meltdown. Um, I ended up going to, I tried to go to a Target, uh, just to get some things for the night. And, um, I couldn't do it. I sat in my car, I completely cried, I completely bawled. Uh, all I could think of is every time I go to Target, I get my kids a popcorn and icy. How can I go into Target and not have my kids? And just that thing alone kept me from going into Target um, because I felt guilty that I didn't have my kids with me. My kids were fine, my kids were already in bed, I already talked to them. They were asleep, they were fine. Um, but this anxiety, this panic attack kept me from going into a target and completing a simple task, uh, such as picking up a few things for the night. Uh, I sat in the car for about 45 minutes, texting my wife, I can't do this, I'm coming home right now, I'm, I'm done, blah, 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 this, this, and that. Uh, Again, my wife, my wife's been the best thing for me since this whole thing started pretty much, just to put that out there. Uh, she pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me uh, and I finally got through it. So uh, just want to get that out of the way. Love you. But um, so I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna stay up here. I got to work in the morning, uh, you know, uh, we're, you know, got a big day ahead of me, so. Uh, I, I don't fall asleep till about 2 a.m. And this continues. Uh, I don't want to get repetitive, but it continues. Um, up there for three days. I come home. I come home. You know, I'm home. Yay, great. Uh, and I'm not any better. I get home and I'm anxious. I'm nervous. I'm paranoid. I feel paranoid for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I have no idea why. So, uh, my wife made dinner, kids excited to have me back, my wife's excited to have me back, and I'm just completely disconnected from reality, completely. I, all, all that stuck in my head is, oh my gosh, I have to do this now, there's no turning back, there's nothing I can do, I'm already committed to this, um, I don't want to move up there now because I have this affiliation with this city and 
uh, the anxiety tied to it. And if I go up there, it's, I'm always going to feel like that and this, this and that. So um, that's all that was on my mind. Uh, I couldn't enjoy my kids. I couldn't enjoy my wife. Like I said, I was completely disconnected from reality. I had to be back to work the next day. Um, I was just, it was a mess. I was a mess. Um, I had to eventually just get up and go, just like go, go away for a little bit. Just got up. I went for a walk, cleared my head, I guess. I don't know. Just went for a walk, came back. I felt a little bit better. So this continued and it got worse and it got worse. And by the time you know it, it was so bad that I was just going through the motions of the day. Um, that's all I could do. That's all I could do. Keep it. I could keep it, keep my composure long enough to get away to where I could break down pretty much. Um, so I went to the doctor. Uh, he prescribed me a medication, which was pretty much here. Come see me in six weeks. Well, that doesn't really give me no answers. Uh, all you did was give me a pill, tell me to see you in six weeks. What's going on with me? What's wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with me. I have these feelings. Uh, I'm crying for no reason, blah, 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 you know, this, this, and that. And you're just giving me a pill and you're not telling me what's wrong with me. So as a person with anxiety and, and you know, uh, a panic disorder, that's really going to bug somebody. Excuse me. So that didn't do anything for me, but make me freak out more. Like you're going to give me this antidepressant. I got to drive two hours to and from work alone with my thoughts on this pill, which has a side effect of suicide. That's all that's on my mind. Um, so I'm just freaking out even more. So I didn't want to take it. Uh, so this escalated. I need help. I need help. I need, I need answers. Uh, I didn't know what to do. So someone suggested to me, call the crisis uh, response hotline. I did. They sent somebody out. Um, they set me up with a counselor the following week, um, which didn't really help me either. Uh, he did explain to me that it was anxiety, though, that it was, uh, you know, panic attacks happening. Um, so I did get a little bit more answers, but I still didn't know how to handle it. I still didn't know how to treat it. Um, I didn't know how to cope with it. I didn't know any of that except, well, we'll get you on a medication and it'll be smart to do some talk therapy. Well, I, I don't have time for medication and talk therapy. I'm going through this now. I have to get to work. I have to get back to my life. So... Uh, I, I didn't do medication for about two months before I was at the point where, okay, I will do whatever I need to do to get rid of this thing. So I, I finally got on a medication. Uh, I don't know if it wore off real quickly or if it was more of a placebo effect type deal, but I felt okay for a little bit and then it wore off and then I came crashing back down to, you know, hell. Um, I started, finally got a counselor, which was about three or four months later, which for me uh, was a huge, a, a huge long process trying to find a counselor. Like the mental health field is, you know, I don't want to say terrible, but it's hard to find somebody in your network that accepts your insurance, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so that was hard for me as well. It took a while. Um, so I finally got talking with someone. And again, when I started talking with, you know, doing talk therapy, it wasn't really too much answers. It wasn't really, this is what's going on with you. This is what's happening. This is how you need to deal with it. Uh, this is how you cope with it. Um, it wasn't, there wasn't really any answers. It was more like sitting there telling my therapist what I think is wrong with me 
and her kind of saying yay or nay. Uh, so, you know, this, this just continued. I kept searching for answers with my doctor, went back for a different prescription, uh, got on a third prescription, got on a fourth prescription. Well, I'll try this prescription, um, this and this and that. I think I saw one therapist who was on a video chat. It was very, it sucked. Um, the video therapy thing really sucked. That didn't help me out too much. Um, so uh, it was just like this endless cycle of looking for answers and looking for answers and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Nothing was helping. Uh, I was breaking down at work. I was hiding in the bathroom for 20 minutes until I could re regather myself and then I can go back to work. And um, this happened for until uh, about recently, um, for about seven or eight months just this endless cycle of looking for answers. When is this gonna go away? Uh, when is this gonna stop? I'm doing the talk therapy, I'm doing um, the prescription, I did this medication, I did that medication, I'm working out, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, blah, da, 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 da. when's it gonna go away? When? That's the only thing that I wanted to know is when it was gonna go away. And it wasn't until I read uh, At Last Alive by Paul David. I highly suggest uh, that book to anybody dealing with anxiety. That book is will change your life. Um, so anyways, uh, I read the book. Uh, my wife found it for me. Uh, she's like, here, read this. This makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's like you... She read it first, and she's like, you know, it's like you wrote it. Um, so I was like, all right. I started reading it. I got a better understanding of what I was dealing with. After all this time searching for these answers, it was somebody who's gone through what I was going through was the person to help me and was the person that really got through to me. So, uh, like I said, I hope to be that same person that this author was for me. So anyways, anxiety. What anxiety is, what a panic attack is, is, and, and, and if you read that book, it goes into more detail with it. Um, this is just my, you know, long story short. Uh, you, what happens is your body is in a state of fear and panic. When that happens, your body goes into a fight or flight mode. Now, you gotta think, if you're in a fight or flight mode and you're in a complete normal situation, it's gonna freak you out. It's gonna freak you out. If you're at home and you're having the, the effect of you know being chased by a bear or a tiger, and you're at home with your family, it's gonna freak you out. You're not gonna know what's going on. I didn't know what's going on. Uh, from what I've read a lot of Facebook pages, a lot of uh, forums, is a lot of people don't know what's going on. What it is, is your body's pumping you with adrenaline to deal with this quote unquote fight or flight situation, um, which is brought on by uh, stress pretty much uh, long periods of stress that hasn't really been dealt with finally breaks and this is what happens so uh, it's your body pumping you with adrenaline so when when this happens and you start to freak out your body stays in that fight or flight mode which is the anxiety um and when you, like I said, when you're in a state of calm or in a situation of calm, there's nothing going on, it's, it's going to freak you out. So what starts going through your head is what's going on? Why is this happening? Why am I sweating? Uh, why does my body feel tight? Why is my stomach burning? Whatever it is, the symptoms that you have are, those were my symptoms. Um, and you just start freaking out. Why won't this go away? Why does this keep happening? Blah, da, 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 this and this and that, you know, and 
it just it just keeps your body in that state of stress all these questions of why who what when where how come la da 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 all those questions keeps your body in a state of stress which keeps your body pumping adrenaline to you until it finally taps out you you don't have an a uh, you don't have an unlimited amount of adrenaline and it does run out. That's why after you have an anxiety attack or a panic attack, that's why you feel tired, you feel exhausted, is because your body just tapped out on adrenaline in this situation that you thought, that your body thought, you know, was a fight or flight situation. Uh, so that's why you're so exhausted after a panic attack, after an anxiety attack that's why so you know it's it's a hard it's a hard concept to grasp but when you are going through these anxieties and panic attacks the best thing you can do for it is nothing don't do nothing about it uh, and, and like I said, it's a hard concept to grasp. After I read this in the uh, the Paul David book, um, I was like, how do you not do nothing when your body's completely wigging out? Uh, and, it, and, 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 and it's hard to grasp. It's hard to understand. Um, but like my, my previous videos, you know, I titled them, uh, living with anxiety um, because that's pretty much what you have to do in order to overcome it. You have to learn to live with it uh, because it really doesn't go away entirely. You still kind of have that anxious feeling, but it doesn't ruin your life. It doesn't ruin your life. Um, I still get a little anxious at times, but it's, it's nothing now. I'm like, ah, whatever, you know, just keep, keep doing what I'm doing. Um, so anyways, um, the best thing to do is nothing. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things you could do. Um, counting by, uh, I don't know, there, there's this count, counting method, counting backwards from 10 or anything to get your mind off of your anxiety at the time. Um, you have to learn to really live with it. Um, and until you do, you kind of have to accept it. This is what it is. This is what you are. This is what's going to happen. And once you start to understand that, and once you start to accept it, the stress of when it happens isn't so intense because you know it's coming and you know it's okay. And you know that it's your body's reaction to a buildup of stress, a buildup of anxiety. And once you have a real grasp of that, a real understanding of why anxiety happens, you start to learn that it's okay. You start to learn that uh, having an anxiety attack, having a panic attack is okay right now that it's not a big deal, that you're not going to die. Um, I went to the emergency room twice from anxiety and panic attacks because I thought I was going to die. Um, of course, I was perfectly fine, but uh, now I look back and I'm like, oh man, you know, if I would have known this then, I would have known that it was just panic, it was just anxiety. And uh, I would have been, I could have gotten over. So, um, the best thing to do is learn to learn, learn to live with it, learn to accept it. Uh, almost talk to it, talk to yourself. Uh, all right, anxiety, uh, you're here. Welcome. Uh, let's let's continue on with my day. You know, kind of take that power back. I'm not gonna let you ruin my day no more. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and I know you're there and that's fine and as silly as that sounds uh, the best thing to do is talk to it talk to that anxiety whether it's in your head whether it's out loud 
doesn't matter. Whatever you feel comfortable. I, you know, of course, you're, if you're out in a public area, you know, you're not going to be wanting to talk out loud to yourself. But, um, or, you know, if you do, power to you. But uh, talk to it. Accept it. All right, here we go. Here we go. I know it's just adrenaline. It's going to run out right now, and I'm going to go back to normal. And it does. It does. It, it doesn't last forever. Now, it may be pretty frequently, because I know when I first uh, when I first started having anxiety, uh, I was having the attacks pretty frequently. But they weren't lasting forever. Like I said, I would go for a walk. Ten minutes later, I was calm again. I was done. So, um, just know that it's adrenaline. Your body is being pumped with adrenaline for a fight or flight situation. And if you're not in a fight or flight situation, it's like water and oil. It's not going to mix. Now, if you have that adrenaline while you're being chased by a bear, that's perfectly okay. You need that adrenaline. You need that to get away. Whether it's fight or flight, you need that adrenaline. So uh, when you when you're experiencing that though in a situation that doesn't require it, it's bad and it's scary. So a th- the thing to keep in mind when you're going through anxiety, when you're going through a panic attack, uh, when you don't want to do something uh, because of anxiety, I didn't want to go into Target because of my anxiety. Um, you can't let that take over your life. You ha- you have to fight it. Uh, the things you don't want to do the most, you should do the most. Whether it's going to the store, whether it's you know uh, going out to the mailbox, whether it's going out with friends, um, you go do it. My biggest fear uh, was being away from my family, uh, two hours away. Uh, well, I'm at work and I can't always leave if something happens and it terrified me. It terrified me like none other. Um, and as bad as I wanted to quit, as bad as I wanted to stop, I didn't. Um, mainly because of my wife. I, I can't take all the credit. Uh, my wife pushed me to, to no end, but, um, I did it and I kept doing it and I got better at coping with it and I got better at dealing with the situation and I got better at talking to myself and I got better uh, talking with my anxiety and I got better just at dealing with the situation at hand. Um, So if there's anything that I could suggest, it is to deal with those fears head on and welcome that anxiety accept it this is a part of me this is who I am for right now because it's not gonna last forever I'm driving two hours to work right now because I am still doing this job I did it Uh, I overcame it Um, I haven't had uh, an anxiety or panic attack for about two weeks now which is really really good um, for me because I had them really often pretty frequently Um, so to not have them for about two weeks now, uh, is pretty good for me. Um, and it did take a lot of work. It did take a lot of work. Uh, the, um, the way I see it, and I hope this kind of puts things in perspective for somebody. Um, the way I see it is your mind was set in a certain pattern with this stress and this stress and the stress and the stress until it broke and created your anxiety and panic attacks. So it wasn't something that just happened overnight. This happened over a period of time. It happened over a period of time and your brain got used to this situation. It got used to this um, scenario. It got used to the panic. It got used to the anxiety. Uh, It was almost like your brain was being trained with anxiety. Um, So that all you're fearing now is your next anxiety attack. That's all you're fearing. Because really, you're not in a situation where you're, it's dangerous most of the time. 
I mean, I wasn't. Um, so the, the, the thing you start to fear is the anxiety and the panic attacks because that's what your brain has been trained to do is expect it. Well, it kind of works both ways in trying to reverse it. You got to train your brain. You got to keep working at it. You got to keep talking to yourself. You got to keep fighting it. Um, and that doesn't happen overnight either. That doesn't happen overnight either. Uh, there was a point in time where uh, I went three days without an anxiety attack. And I'm like, oh, man, I got this. You know, I got this by the horns. I'm finally good. I'm done. I'm ready to rock and roll. Life, bring it on. You know, I was happy. Uh, and then the fourth day came crashing down on me again. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, for as long as you've dealt with anxiety, for as long as you've dealt with the panic and depression, um, your brain is kind of trained that way. And it takes a while to train it to do the other thing, which is be happy. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it takes a little bit of work. Um, and, you know, it takes, a, takes some fighting. It's going to take some fight. It's going to take a lot of fight, actually. And um, But it can be done. I see these people posting stuff that, you know, I've dealt with anxiety and panic for 10 years and five years and all. I don't know their situation. Um, I don't like to, you know, speculate on situations that I don't know, but um, it is, it is curable. It is curable. Um, I, I, was, I was at the brink of just wanting to quit life. I almost did. My wife got to the point where she was like, you know what, deal with this or you're going to have to go away because you're bringing down the family, which is understandable. It, I, I really was. But uh, it, it, it's, it's a struggle. It's a fight. It's rough and it's tough and it's not, I, I wish it was easy, but it's not going to be easy. Um, the only thing I could say is... Medication does help. It helps, but it's not going to solve anything. It does help. Um, therapy does help, but it's not going to solve anything. It's not going to solve your problem. Um, the only thing that's going to solve your problem is you. That's the only thing that solved my problem was me. Medication didn't solve it. Therapy didn't solve it. Um, I haven't tried hypnotherapy, um, which I really love hypnotherapy. If anybody gets a chance to do that, that's a really good time. Um, but it didn't solve the problem. It helped cope with it, but it didn't solve it. Um, the only way to solve it is to hit it head on, know that it's there, know what you're dealing with, and get a really strong understanding of it. Um, I hope this video helps somebody, anybody. If I could just help one person, um, that's great. That's great. Uh, so, again, if anybody has any questions, um, of course, post your comments on the on the videos. Uh, my email address again is m e j j b r at hotmail .com. Um I'm always on my phone. I love, you know, I'm, I'm always responding to, you know, text messages, you know, other emails, whatever. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. Um, I'll get back to you very, very quickly. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, I hope, you know, you subscribe um, because I want to continue to give these, you know, stories and, and, and my ways my experiences with coping and dealing with things. Alrighty guys, stay strong and hopefully I will see you guys later.